Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923, and in this video I want to show you how we can use ArcPy to create point feature classes or shapefiles based off of latitude and longitude. So what we're looking at here is just a shapefile that, that was created with ArcPy and based off of latitude and longitude values. So that's a pretty uh, useful and handy thing to know how to do. Um, so I actually was just working with this because I was experimenting with some Garmin data from um, like a a Garmin watch that had latitude and longitude in a text file. Um, so I just figured that would be a good thing to make a video about. So enough talking, let's just uh, jump right into it. So I'm going to remove this and hop over into Python. So the first thing we're going to have to do is import ArcPy. And then we're going to need to make a list. So I'm just going to call it chords. And this is going to be a list of all the coordinates in latitude and longitude. So um, to make the list, I'm using the square brackets like that. And then each latitude longitude pair in here needs to be a tuple, uh, which is defined with those parentheses like that. So a tuple is basically like a list, but it's um, you can't change the values once you set them in there. So now we just need to get some latitude longitude values. So I'm just going to go... Um, to this website and I'm just gonna grab like two or three points so if we grab this point this is gonna be the latitude and then put the longitude here and let's just grab another point somewhere further away And we'll throw this in here. And let's just get one more. Let's go somewhere even further away. Oh, uh, whoops, see what I did there? I, I accidentally put that in the same tuple. So now we need to make a a new tuple because it's a totally new pair and just for good measure let's get one more new tuple here and obviously you don't need this many but just to make the point. All right, so now we have the coordinates. Um, now what we actually need to do is with ArcPy, we have to figure out how we can make um, a shape file, basically. So right now we don't have a shape file, so we need to programmatically create a feature class. So if you just Google ArcPy create feature class, and you look at the documentation for Pro, uh, this is what we're gonna wanna need. Um, so it creates an empty feature class in a geodatabase or shapefile in a folder. So I'm going to make a shapefile just because they're a little bit more transferable um, outside of the Esri world. Whereas geodatabases, uh, once you take it outside of the Esri environment, um, some programs might not know what uh, that is, if that makes sense. Um, but if we look at this documentation here, these are the only two things that are required. Um, but we're going to give it a few more parameters, but all this stuff we don't really need. Um, so let's just copy this example and bring it in here and clean this up a little bit. Oh, it's kind of hard to read because it's larger font. That's all right. Um, so now this is basically what folder do you want it to go in? What do you want to name it? What's the type going to be? Um, so let's just make a folder on our computer. And I've been working in this arc directory. So I'm going to delete this shape file. Okay, so we have nothing in here. So just make a new folder that's empty and paste it in here. I'm going to put an R in front of it. And then let's just call it test1.shape. And we're going to make a point shape file. 
and this other stuff we don't need. So this is basically, you can use a, another shapefile as a template. So in this example, they must be using this as a template to get all the fields, but we don't want to do that. Um, we don't need any of this crap. The only thing I will add is the spatial reference. So if you go here, um, somewhere here, spatial reference. So we just want to set this as WGS84. And we can do that by just saying, um, by just setting it in here. So spatial reference equals, and then 4326 is, is the standard. Um, all right, and then let's just call this um, new shape file and set it equal to that. And then once that finishes, let's just print uh, new shape file. All right, so if we run this with any luck, we should get a new shape file created in this directory. All right, so there we have just a blank empty shape file now. So now we're, uh, we're ready to move on. And what we need to do is we have to use something called an insert cursor. So that's how we're going to insert this um, geometry, all, all of this stuff into the shape file. So they're kind of similar to update cursors and search cursors, but insert cursors are specifically to insert so if I just go back to ArcPy, insert cursor, we'll copy some boilerplate. Uh, so th this gets a little confusing. We're going to use the shape at XY, and it, it says right here, a tuple of the features, centroid XY coordinates. But let's go look at what their code example looks like. So here they have... Um, a list of values, but they're actually giving us field values. We're not going to do that right now. And they're actually inserting, they're using this old style of uh, cursors, um, but we're going to use a new style, like the, the newer preferred way of doing it. So if you say with arcpy.da.insert cursor, cursor. Um, parentheses and then it's basically um, actually let me just finish this as uh, insert cursor um, in here it's basically asking the first parameter it needs is what file are you talking about so we want to use the new shape file that's, that's the file we want to insert something new into. And then the second thing is a list of what, like what fields do you want to work with? What are you inserting into? And to insert, insert this um, geometry, we need to use that shape at X, Y, just like that. So as so it's basically saying with this insert cursor, look in, insert into this file and insert into this field basically. And you can, if you want to do more, you can just add like field whatever the field is called like field one field two but for now we're just going to do one and then the next thing we have to do is we need to insert every value into this um, shape file so how to do that we actually need to loop through the chords list because every single point here we want we have to insert so it's going to loop through four times and insert four things into this. So we need to say for chord in chords. Um, let's just print inserted into, um, and then I'm just going to say inserted. Uh, first thing is going to be chord. And the second thing is going to be new shape file. So it's going to say, the first time it's going to say inserted this into new shape file, in, which is this value. And then it's going to say inserted this into, into new shape file. 
and then we're act we actually have to do the insert. So insert cursor dot insert row and then parentheses and then in brackets we need to give it the um, this value which is the latitude and longitude like this all right cord all right so with any luck this should work and I have to change this because if I don't it's gonna say it already exists so Let's give this a try. Hopefully it works. I spelled insert cursor wrong. Let's try that again. I'm going to change this to test three because it probably already created test two successfully. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look to make sure it actually exists here. Uh, where is that directory? All right, so test three is what we just worked with. So let's go into arc, refresh this directory. Test three, remember we had four points, so we should have four. Oh, but they look all backwards. So I bet we put the latitude longitude. Um, we, sh we probably have to swap the latitude longitude. So let me go swap that real fast. All right, guys, so I just uh, swapped the latitude longitude for all these values. And let me change this to test four because test three already exists. And let's give this a try. All right, looks good. So let's bring in test four. There we go, that looks better. All right, so lesson learned, we need to put um, longitude first in this tuple, not latitude. Otherwise it gets backwards. And that's probably documented somewhere if you read this stuff closer, but uh, who has time to read all this? Um, but yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, I think I'll make one more quick video just about how we can, at the same time, insert uh, fields, specific field information, um, instead of just points. Because if we look at this, attribute table it's pretty lame there's no other information um, so what would happen if we wanted to insert like a city name or yeah like a city name or something for this uh, all right this video is getting too long thanks for watching